you know, before I started um, looking into Warhorse, I started doing, uh, uh, not pursuing Jiu Jitsu, uh, meditation. I wanted to find out who I was, where my center was, where I found peace. Uh, it, it's going to sound lame, but, you know, it took ages, like a year or two for me to finally sit down and not have those thoughts racing, not have what I did in the past, what I'm going through, who I missed, like all that pain and all that anxiety. It took a while to disappear. And once I found out, you know, who I really was at my core, I started focusing on things that I was interested in. I took up archery um, to kind of help me work on that focus and do a little bit of physical activity. Uh, more recently, I started doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, it's a way for me to focus my energy, not my anger into something I want to master. I want to be a person that can do things not because I needed to, but because I wanted it. I called Eric Audrich on his birthday just to wish him a happy birthday. He called me back. Um, I was at Home Depot with my girlfriend at the time and you know, he just started telling me, he's like, hey, look, all the Bravo guys are here. You know, we're having a good time. We're just hanging out. And he started uh, mentioning some names, you know, said Chia, he said Campbell. And, you know, I was like, man, I haven't talked to those dudes in forever. And I wonder how they're doing. And he's like, you can come out. You know, all you have to do is sign up. And, you know, and if you want to work, you know, if you want to come with a certain group, let me know. And, you know, the, the uh, War Horses for Veterans will work with you to get you, you know, with those group of guys so you feel comfortable doing it. And, um, you know, I finally f filled out the paperwork. It took a lot of talking to the people that have been there and took a lot of uh, convincing myself that, you know, it wasn't something that was as uh, ostentatious or as overwhelming as it seemed. Um, I think it was something that I needed to say, hey, you need some time away from the city. You need some time away from your situation. So, you know, I didn't really know what to expect from that but once I got the email saying that you have a date I was in for it and you know I I, ex I didn't know what to expect so for me the best therapy that I found was wasn't talking to a psychologist therapist or a psychiatrist or any of the civilian friends I made they didn't understand any of the stuff that I went through or what I was going through you know it was always supportive which I appreciated but you know, when I got to the airport, I ran into my buddy Chia and, you know, ran into his buddy Ed and, you know, we got to talking and we were both, we were both excited. We were all excited. Like, hey man, this is going to be a great weekend. We're going to see these people, you know, we're going to be at War Horses and we're going to be talking about who we really are, the side of us that we had to keep, uh, keep away from other people because they didn't know what we really did and why we really did it. So the best therapy was just understanding all the craziness that we did and remembering some of the stuff that I'd forgotten. You know, uh, the stories that we had were about, wasn't about the missions, it was about who we were and how we went through it and how we dealt with it. And a lot of it was hilarious. I didn't realize how much humor we had during such, you know, dark times. And I think that reminded me that I was focusing too much on the bad things that were happening rather than the good times that we shared.